We have new details tonight about a Clarkston teenager killed in a shooting just hours after playing soccer with his friends. Joe Hinkey talked to the coach about how the team is coping as we work to get answers about what led up to the shooting and the other teen who's now facing charges. Orosto Ramazan played soccer for Kalanji Soccer Academy, and like many of the academy's players, he was a refugee who lived in Clarkston and was recruited to play at the academy. Uh, his mother is really broken, and uh, we're trying to help her with the process of uh, the funerals and things like that. They're very lost. They don't know what to do. Bruno Kalanji is the founder of the soccer academy. He coached Ramazan and had recruited him. Kalanji says he quickly bonded with Ramazan and his large family of nine siblings. Yeah, they're from Congo, so they're Congo from my country, but you know, they speak, the mother speaks Swahili, so she speaks also my, uh, my native language. Kalanji says Ramazan dreamed of playing for the Atlanta United one day and then the Chelsea Football Club in the UK. He had big dreams, he's a kid with dreams, and he came to practice every day, never missed a beat. On Saturday night, Ramazan was at the Park 1000 apartments where his family lives. According to Clarkson Police, Ramazan was shot in the head just before 930 and later died at the hospital. On Sunday, police arrested 17-year-old Apuku Furahisha and charged him with involuntary manslaughter. Police have not offered many details about what led to the shooting, but say the two teens knew each other and the shooting was not a random act of violence. Kalanji says Ramazan's teammates are struggling as they were with him only hours before the shooting. At 3 o'clock, that's when we, end, we ended our game. We dropped them home as usual, you know, so, so his friends were with him on that Saturday. So that's what is really heartbreaking because it's a close memory for all those guys. And here in Clarkson, Clarkson police say this is still an active investigation. So far, they have not released specific details of how the two teens knew each other and how exactly the shooting played out. Reporting in Clarkson, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News.